This is my childhood home. I don't live here anymore. I live in London, where I'm trying to make it as a comedian. Now I'm grown up, I come back and visit my parents quite a lot, because I keep running out of money. I ring my parents up real poignant like, Mum, Dad, your boy's coming home. Again? We'll have to take our winter coats off your bed. I feel pretty lucky. How did I end up here? How did I, who left school at 16 before going to sick form and university, come to be where I am today? I'll tell you my story, and I'll tell you through the medium of storytelling. Just some flashback scenes and then intercut with me talking to you, the camera is like, and it's pretty simple, you'll get it. We begin here in Leeds in 1974. And then immediately fast forward 14 years to 1988, the year of my birth. My mother, aged 29, is talking to my grandfather, her father, and friend. Dad. I should say my grandfather was a wise, complex, somewhat troubled gentleman. But for comedic purposes, in this skit, will be portrayed as an old Yorkshire git. I'm pregnant. It's the semi-professional comedian, Liam Williams. Oh, wonderful news. You will, of course, raise him just as we raised you, won't you? You mean emotionally repressed and in relative poverty? I? No, Dad. There's this alternative lifestyle we've read about. It's called being lower middle class. You are? What does that mean? <coughs> it means encouraging him to eat three or four portions of fruit and vegetable a day and striking him biannually at most. Please, Dad, we really think this is for the best. Say you understand. But Grandad didn't say he understood. He just turned away and muttered something about his hat. Right, well, it was my black cap on him. This house, my parents' lives, just seem a bit depressing to me. I guess it's a mark of good parenting, even inadvertently, to make your kid look at your life and go, No, I need more than that. To make your kid, on a semi-fictional day in 2009, walk into the kitchen and say, Mum? Dad? I should say my parents are both wise, complex, aspirational people. But for comedic purposes, in this closing skit, we'll be portrayed as a pair of small town fools. Now I've gone and got all good and educated, I've been thinking about how I want to live my life. You will, of course, live just as we have, won't you? You mean comfortably but never luxuriously? Your entire life juggling the tedium of parenthood with the gnawing feeling that your day-to-day -day life might just be futile? Hi. Hi. No, Mum and Dad. There's this alternative lifestyle I've read about. It's called following a slightly unorthodox career trajectory in the self-expression industry. Have you thought about teaching or...? No! I want to be... a comedian. A comedian? But you're not, you're not very, very funny, funny. Liam. I don't think that matters all that much. Please, Mum and Dad. I really think this is for the best. Say you understand. But Mum and Dad didn't say they understood. They just turned away and muttered something about their car.